well, Rogue One is a great movie. Thank you. And uh, there are so many genres in uh, in this movie. Right. And how did you merge all these different genres in the, in, in the movie? Um, well, George did it first. Like a lot of people ask, what is it that makes something Star Wars? And the answer is like, there's like a thousand different things. And it's people think of it as science fiction, but it's really got as much in common with, you know, history and, and mythology and fairy tales. And so you have to have all those genres in it and westerns and samurai films and biblical epics, you know, and science fiction. Uh, it's everything sort of combined. And um, it's in terms of like combining them, you're always trying to make something not feel exactly where you got the inspiration from. So like uh, the opening of our film, uh, there's Mads Mikkelsen's character who's met by the Empire come to basically to, to try and take him away because he's the guy that's the genius behind the Death Star and they need him back. And, and that scene is very much influenced by things like Sergio Leone and Kira Kurosawa. And it's just like he's trying, as a filmmaker, you're stealing from all the things you loved as a kid but trying to disguise them with robots and spaceships and maybe no one notices so much. And you mentioned that Kira Kurosawa, and in some ways there are many similarities with uh, uh, the Seven Samurai and uh, or the Mechanician Seven, right, <laughs> as you right. like. There's even something from uh, Apocalypse Now. It's a very realistic kind of Star Wars movie. Yeah, Apocalypse Now was actually one of the main influences. Like when the first thing I did when we started the film was create a document with images that I felt reflected the kind of film I wanted to make, and I think probably the high score. Uh, in there was Apocalypse Now because you know we knew we were making this kind of battle sequences and trying to make it as realistic as we could. Uh, yeah, I think I think that was very much an influence. And one of the little things we did for like uh, an experiment was we took images from Vietnam and the Middle East and and World War II combat situations and and we photoshopped the helmets and turned them into rebel helmets painted the guns out and put blasters in them with lasers and and you had this very very engaging imagery that felt like like the most realistic version of Star Wars you'd ever seen and and the studio saw it and responded really well to it and were like go make that film and so that's what we did. Well I think it must be strange to to direct a standalone movie from the Star Wars saga. Yeah I haven't thought about it I mean you'd be so what happens is you're so busy like with your head down trying to finish the film and block out the world and just do what you think's right and then suddenly you come up for air, it just ends and you come up for air and then it's like it's out there. Like the turnaround now, it used to probably be months and months but in this day and age, from the day you finish, the last day you finish on the film, you go straight to publicity and, and, and do these interviews and then the film's out in the cinema and it's kind of like a culture shock because we've been so secretive for two years and you can't tell anyone anything and then in a split second the whole world gets to see it and and you don't have it anymore and it's like you have to give it back and it feels like being like a surrogate mother or something and it like you really care about your child and and you've grown to love it and now it belongs to the rest of the world and it's this very strange emotion um it was a massive honor to do a star wars film but yeah it, i would be lying if i said it's not sad that i don't get to hang out in that world anymore it's it's like it's where i grew up and and yeah It's kind of, having not made Star Wars, there'd always be this feeling like, oh, one day maybe I could do it, maybe I could go there. And But now having finished, like, you know you're not going to get to do another one. Um, it's like, mm, I'll never get to go back to Star Wars. But I get to go back like an audience, like a fan, and see the other movies at some point when they come out. Thank you so much. Thank you, thanks.